June 2022, Tampa, Florida. Hi, this is Janet, and I'm Sly. Back in 2016, we both decided it was time to stop working, buy an RV, and start traveling the country and the world. And once the RV was pretty much the way we wanted it, we started our travels, and we've been doing it ever since. So join us as we explore this country and the world, and maybe we can even meet up with some of you along the way. So we finished our road trip, and now we're back in Andalusia and back with our RV, and it's time to hit the road again. And this time we're headed to Tampa where we intend to spend a couple of months. We are staying at McDill Air Force Base in Tampa, Florida. Normally, we wouldn't spend the summer in Florida because it's too hot. But this year, well, let's face it, fuel prices are high and at $6 a gallon, we're going to slow down our travels a little bit. And look, we're back just in time for hurricane season, which started, by the way, yesterday. And although this isn't a hurricane, it's only a tropical storm, well, we know what we have to look to during our stay back in Florida. But we're not just here because of the fuel prices. We're also here because we sold our rental property up in Navarre, Florida, and now we need to buy another rental property, and we've decided to buy one down here near the Tampa area. And so, for the last two weeks, We've been driving around a little bit to look at neighborhoods, but we've also done some hiking right around the McDill area. And of course, there is the signs, beware of snakes and raccoons, of all things. Anyway, there are some really good walking trails right near the fam camp on McDill, and we took full advantage of them. But Tampa also has a nightlife, and we headed on down to the Gin Joint. The Gin Joint is a really cool club. It doesn't only have gin, it has whiskeys and bourbon, which is what we like. And inside, we really like the atmosphere a lot. We sat at the bar because a reservation needs to be made months in advance, so that kind of gives you an idea of just how popular this place is. And we also got a chance to meet up with Vito and his wife Veronica. They took us down to the Armitage, which is just on the outskirts of Tampa. This is a really beautiful spot with lots of little bars and restaurants. I haven't seen Vito for 25 plus years since we were both stationed at Aviano, Italy and both part of the ski club. We had a blast catching up and looking over some of the old photos from the old ski club days. We're going to see them again and I look forward to it. But until then, it's back to McDill where we do more hiking and enjoying the Florida sun. Although I will tell you, 90 something degrees of sun might be more sun than I like. But either way, it's great walking early morning. Our next excursion was down to St. Petersburg, where we took a little bit walk around a very small area of St. Petersburg and where we stopped at the Banana Hammock to have a bourbon. Because, you know, we can't go anywhere without having a bourbon. After the bourbon and just a little bit more walking around town, we headed on home. So these cars were there in the morning when we headed on down to St. Petersburg. I guess since then, the tide came in and a lot of these cars were really wet. But hey, we enjoyed the ride and we stayed out of the water. A few days later, we checked in with more old friends. We checked in with Craig and Susan. We met up with them at the Villages, which is really close to their house. We met Craig and Susan a couple years back as they were RVing. Now they kind of stopped RVing for a while and settled down in Bushnell, like I said, close to the villages. But they weren't the only friends that we met up there at the villages. We also reconnected with Barney, and we've known Barney for a while, another one of our RV friends. 
So for those of you that don't know the village, the village is a 55 plus community in Central Florida. And this community is hopping. This is not a community of old people who spend their days sitting on the front porch knitting. This is a community of happy, crazy people that are enjoying life like they've never enjoyed before. The Villages has music almost every night and any club that you can imagine they've got. They will keep you occupied. In fact, this is one of the places that Janet and I really think will be the place that we will one day retire to if we ever stop traveling. So, with this last evening with friends up at the villages, the last two weeks, or our first two weeks down here in Tampa, have come to an end. You won't see us adding any new states to our list for quite a while, but that's okay, we've got plenty of time. So during these past two weeks, we haven't really explored as many new places as we'd normally do, but hey, we had a blast, and we certainly hope you enjoyed spending the time with us. As usual, if you look down at the description below, you'll find a link to the places that we visited. And with that, We'll say goodbye, and we hope that we see you next time as we continue to explore this 